Hello, welcome to Shaw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Psalms 139, 9 and 10. And it says, If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, and your right hand will hold me fast. So, yeah, I'm still looking to do the, have more faith in everything that's going on, you know, just those things that, um, I can't control today. I changed shampoos and now my head is just like, <laughs> anyway, um, okay. So let's start with off the hook. Um, I did finish and you guys eh, have technically seen this before because there's four parts to it. Um, I finish both cows and hats and RJ's already come and pick the one that he wants for Macy. So we have these two and as you can tell, there's one that's a little bit darker and one that's a little bit lighter just in color, but I didn't fold them the same, but you get the point. Um, one has this deep green and one has more of a reddish orange. Um, that's just the way the rose worked up. It's the same yarn and then him and I both couldn't tell any difference in the hats. Um, I've lost a hat. There it is. Um, couldn't really tell any difference in the hats because they were the same skein and so they worked up pretty much the same. So yeah, we have those two and they're totally done. So, um, it is what it is. They are Christmas presents and I'm pretty sure that Got the girls' Christmas pretty much done. I'm gonna put some um, perfume with it, and then I've got two games, and I'm doing more of a couple theme type, I guess, because I've got two games for Macy and RJ. I guess I could do one of each, but the whole point of this next Christmas is family time. And so I've got one, two, three. I have four games. I was going to do two and two. And then um, I'm making the stockings. Uh, I had some other things. Oh, I got them all matching leather bracelets. Um, they all seem to be into that. So <coughs> I have those coming. Um, but yeah, I, I'm pretty much under control for my kids. Roommate, um, I started with roommate stocking in the sewing part. You'll see that. And then now I've changed my mind again on how I'm going to do those. Yeah, I'm pathetic. All right. So off to the good part. So those are finished, done, and you won't see them anymore. I just have to weave in the ends. Um, so this is the yarn that I got and it is a cotton and I got it with the kit in December from Mary Maxim and is the cozy cotton blend. Oh, forgot that I moved the camera. Cozy cotton blend. It's blue. Um, it's a lion's brand. So Anyway, I got it and I don't, I don't want a pullover made of cotton or let's just say I don't want a traditional sweater type pullover. So I was trying to think of what I could do with it to normally do not use cotton for clothing type pullovers. Um, but I have this black and white t 
it's a really basic, I'm sorry, I have drainage today. It's a basic rectangle, got a hole, and then on the sleeves, it's got one of those little flips. It kind of makes it look a little dressier. It is just a rectangle, and then it's sewed up the sides, okay, and it leaves like spaces from the end of the thing to here, and it'd be sewed, and then this would be gathered. Yeah, it looks really cute. So, um, it's just eating. So I decided I was going to try and mimic it. I thought, I'm going to make it into, I'm going to make this cotton into one of those because mine is dying. And then I thought, well, it needs a little bit of a pattern. So I did. <laughs> it looks flat in here. Now, I have four of these balls and I am going to work until it hits where I want in length. Or I run out of yarn. And yes, I do a lot of my crochet that way. I don't know. I have two balls. We'll see how far it goes. And yeah, it is what it is. So because I'm making the matching front and back, I'm working two at a time from two balls. Now, I know this looks flat, but I did want it to have some kind of pattern. So I'm sorry, I also, I bit my lip. It's horrible. Um, yeah. And I have the camera set up just a little bit further away, so now you can't see. So I'm going to have to pull you. I'm sorry. All right. So, let me see if I can use this here. Put this here. So the pattern right now, there you go. You can see that. The pattern right now is five double crochet rows, one of these spacers, then a double crochet row, then a spacer. Then I'm going to do five more um, double crochet rows. And so I'm going to do it, and I'm thinking that this is the first row of the double. So I had it in my mind, five, five, and five. Okay, um, but it doesn't work up that way because up to here is five rows. Okay, so then I do the fancy row. That's one, two, three, four, and then I either have to decide to put another one of these for five and go with three of them or not. And I, I really am just liking the two. I don't know that I want three, three, and three. Does that make sense? So I'm actually thinking instead of doing five and five and five, I do five double crochet. Then I do one, two, three. That would make these spacers and then five double crochet. So I'm thinking five, three, five for my pattern. Um, and then I'm just going to repeat it. Now I do have it long. It's going to go all the way across. It is an over the shirt kind of thing. Um, the first time that I did it, I measured the other one that I'm emulating and I got it way off when I held it up to myself. Yeah, it was. So I just, uh, chain stitched for as long as I thought it was and because of the stretch and all of that it came out really long <laughs> I'm just gonna say that um, I just put the um, old one up against the yardstick and said okay this is how many inches I came to this yarn I chained across there and I did my first row of double, held it up, and eh, it'll be all right. And I did about four or five rows and I got to where I started changing this and realized it was like really long, really, really long. Um, so I bent, went back 
And I don't know what I had done, but I was about 20 stitches too long. And when I say 20 stitches, okay, let's just give you a perspective here, okay? So 20 stitches, five, okay. This entire section is 20 stitches. And then you add that on both sides. So I had almost 40 stitches extra. Yeah, it wasn't a good thing. I mean, I guess it wasn't a bad thing, but it really wasn't a good thing. So I ripped out and started over. And I came up with a number that I thought was better. Um, because in order to do this two, three, two, three, and that's all that is, is that's, so there's 117 stitches here. There's two doubles, then there's a chain three, two doubles, chain three, and you're skipping three on that chain three. So it came to 117, um, stitches. So, yeah. It is what it is, but I am making progress now, and I have both of them. Now, it here lately, it just seems like when I start something, if I don't have the pattern, I seem like I'm struggling. And here's the thing. I've never crocheted with patterns, really. I mean, I, I have, but I haven't. There was a time that I used to tell people I don't read patterns, and I didn't. Um... I have learned, but when Granny taught me to crochet, she taught me how to make circles, triangles, and rectangles, and square. That was it. She said, if you have those shapes, you can make anything you want. So, a hat is nothing more than a circle with sides down it. You can make any vest with... Um, yeah, I have to go to work today. You can make any vest, one piece, one piece. It literally it can be two triangles. Um, it could be three if you want it beat in the neck. It, there are simple, simple ways to make every piece of clothing there is. Um, a shirt is two rectangles and two rectangles. So you've got a front, a back, a sleeve, and a sleeve, and then you stitch it up. So you, anybody can make the basic of clothes if you look at it at every shape. A lot of my shawls and ponchos are just triangles folded over. Um, yeah, it, if you can make the basic shapes, you can make anything there is. So, um, I never really learned to read patterns very well. I learned to look at the pictures and emulate what I saw. Um, she taught me to dissect it in my head and all of this stuff, which is great because I can make anything I want. You don't have to have a pattern for it. But here lately, I have been struggling. And, and I'll be honest with you, I don't know if it's because I have now learned to read patterns and, yeah, and, and I learned probably, I don't know, 15 years ago when I first started doing stuff on the podcast, I didn't read patterns. And then, sorry. So I'll bet you RJ was probably 12 and he's so maybe 10 almost 15 years ago, I learned to read patterns, which is great, but now I critique them, and sometimes I get the words wrong. They don't know what sister talking about. Anyway, so I, I don't know if learning to read the patterns has inhibited me from crocheting what I call free form. I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's slowing me down because I think I need a written, but I'm going to have to go to balancing, not using a pattern and using a pattern because I'm, I'm losing that knack 
of just picking it up, making what I want, and going, <laughs> yeah, there's no pattern for that. And it looking okay. So, if you remember the hats that were with these towels that had the ponytail thing, it took me forever to get them fit. I, I, they kind of popped off the head. They, I don't know. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, oh, what else? Okay, so, enough of that. Yes, I'm struggling with that. But that blue, I still have the blanket that I'm whip stitching on. Okay. And I have finished all my other projects. I have them all off the hook, except for the blue. Um, I am going through and reorganizing my yarn. So I think I'm doing pretty good with that. Uh, I have some plans. I, I'm not going to bring them. Out here and tell you, I, I've been working on it. It's in the back room, and yeah. So, the other thing that I was working on crochet this week is our office has, um, we do like a little kid Valentine's Day thing, and you make a bag or a box, and then you bring a lot of them said store bought little. Uh, Valentine's. Well, my kids never took store-bought Valentine's. Don't know what to tell you. They made little cookies in a bag. Um, they took candy. They didn't do traditional ones. So, what makes you think I would either, right? So, I printed out these lovelies right here, and it says a Valentine's book aren't just for you. And then I crocheted a bunch of these and it's just a little poofy heart. Um, I've used up some scraps. These literally, literally do not take but a minute to make. Um, let's see here. Or here's a bigger one that I've five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, looks like 13 of these bad boys. So I've got them. Here's some that I did just using up that scrap of that um, cowl. Uh, there's a pink and purple one. So there's a couple of red and blues. There's a red. Um, and then this is all I have of this. And then I've got a little pink and the red ones. So, yep. Yeah. I guess it would help if I put that back and you could see. They're a little hard. I have a little scrap. I have been trimming. There we go. Okay. So, this little heart. I think this little heart. And they are super, super simple. Um, I plan on taking this, just taping it like so, and then folding it over. And then they'll have their little, and I'm not even going to sign them. I don't really think I need to, so I'm just not going to. <laughs> and <coughs> I printed up 40 of these. I don't know how many there's going to be. So, I have been working on these. I need to put the things down. I am using some of Granny's old red, some old pink that left from a baby blanket. Um, I could get fancier with these. Not going to happen. They're getting acrylic, and that's that. So, and then I'm just using this little uh, four millimeter. I don't know if you can see that or not. I can so suck it. It's just a four millimeter hook. So, um, this is another one of those things that 
I have another hook in there. I have no idea why. There's another hook. Oh, for those bigger ones. Okay, I was like, what? Doesn't belong in there. So, on the hearts, I just started with a magic circle. Chain two up. And then I treble crocheted three. Double crocheted four. Um, trebled one to make the point. Double crocheted four again. Trebled three. And then I finished it off by chaining two and slip stitching it in. And then when I pulled the magic circle all the way closed, I used both the yarn that I was crocheting with and the tail and just uh, chained up that little bottom part. So Super simple. Didn't take me any time at all. Um, is what it is kind of thing. But yeah, so I made those. I have been doing some sewing. And as you know, I'm going to keep that sewing part done. Uh, in the entry, we did hit 2,000 subscribers. There was a special guest star in that um, video. So if you want to go check it out, it tells you how to enter. Um, and you do have to be subscribed to win. And I have to be able to see that you're subscribed. I know that sounds silly, but this whole thing is about subscriptions. So I know you can hide who you're subscribed to or whatever. If I cannot see that you're subscribed to us, you don't win. So, um, the entry, the giveaway entry video is the only one I'm taking, um, submissions on. Keeping it simple. Go over to that video. Put in your answer to the question. Watch the video first. <laughs> um, and then the end of January, the last day of January is when it closes off. The 1st of February, I'll do the drawing. And the 6th of February, it will be announced. And for those of you who have watched any time at all, you'll know why I picked the 6th of February. So, um, anyway, we have that going on. Now, I will um, tell you I have, I don't have like a, quite a bit of sewing, but I, I do have some stuff that I was working on. And I'm going to show you one thing here because I think it's super cute. And if you have to help your child make a box, this is it. So, um, I talked about the little Valentine's things that I'm making. Um, this sh is going to be in the sewing as well, but I just think it's super cute. So I had this shoe box and I made this. It looks hard. It is not. Okay. People are like, oh my gosh, you could. I made a bag. The size of the box and then I slid it up. So when I'm done with this, this is going to be a square bottom bag. Okay. Cause I did make it square bottom because of the box. So this is just, you know, it, it's a bag. Okay. <laughs> then I took this part right here, this flap and this, I, I don't want to rip it up because I did. I used double stick tape. And this is just a flap that I can re rip out and use. If I make this a drawstring bag, I can use it for tie. And then this up here, because I don't want to finish the seam until I figure out what I'm going to do with this. I safety pinned it and then I double stick taped it in here. So the shoe box has that natural little flap. This goes in here. And honestly, when I take this off, I will show you when I'm done with it. I will show you that this is a bag. Okay. So all I did was take a few minutes. Um, I did put a little pocket thing on there because I thought it'd be cute. Then this is just folded up paper and it says my name on it so that it looks like a Valentine. Yeah. So yeah, super cute. Remember, it's just a square bottom bag and I will show y'all how to make square bottom. Square bottoms are super easy and I know that a lot of people shy away from them, but 
Yeah. It just makes it look cleaner, too, to be honest with you. But anyway, that's sewing. We're not going to discuss that right now. Um, RJ is getting ready for the ACRA um, finals. So this Thursday, Friday, Saturday. He's got... Coop is officially retired, as you heard in the giveaway video. Um, I think that uh, they're going to actually have her as a brood mare. Let her have a couple of babies. So. Mm -hmm. And then those will be RJ's up and coming horses. So, um, yeah. Uh, He's getting ready for that. Him and Mason just had their anniversary. Everything's going good there. I don't have any gardening. I did change one plant, one of my um, indoor plants. And let me see if I can just show you. So it looks much better today. Thank goodness. All right. So I'm going to take you over here. I'm going to show you right down here that plant. Right there. I'm crooked. I don't know how to. Okay. So that big plant right there, I did have to repot it, and that's my in the um, garden for today, because when I replanted it, I didn't raise the soil up enough. Now, that sounds stupid, right? Um, all you have to do is plant the plant at the same level dirt, right? Wrong. Just so you know. If the bottom of the plant is too far down in the pot, it won't get enough light. And I redid that one and all the plants in the house that day that I redid that. And I, it went down about that far. I thought, oh, I'd be all right. No, it started dying at the root. You could see how sickly the leaves were kind of... But it's coming back. It's got some sprouts, some life to it. But yeah, so the inside at the base didn't get enough light, didn't do very good. So it kind of is looking sickly. I did replant it. I didn't replant it. I just lifted it up and put more dirt in there. And it's not that I don't have the dirt. I was just being lazy. Okay. So, but it looks 100% better today. I also traded out my other little one that's a one leaf. The soil that I put it in, it did not like. And so it started to turn yellow. I traded it out. Um, all right. What else have I been up to in the farmhouse, as we call it? Um, so I had your stay off. I finally got the oil changed in my car. I paid all the bills, did all the running, got the groceries, came home. And um, so I have switched jobs and that puts me um, working later than I used to. I'm sorry, I'm itchy. Uh, working later than normal. Not normal, okay? Not later than normal. I get off at 6 o'clock, okay? 6.10 depending on how long it takes to close it. Okay. Um, for years, well, for the first year, a half year, yeah, year, year and a half of being here. Um, I was always the one that cooked Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night's dinner. And Monday night's dinner. And then Tuesday, I didn't cook. But then Wednesday, I did. So, um, yeah. I, uh, I cook like five or six nights a week for the evening meal. And this last week, roommate has decided that roommate's going to cook. And roommate cooked... Uh, three or four meals because now I don't come home till six. I, I feel bad not cooking my fair share. So, um, anyway, last week roommate just was feeling pretty good and just cooked every night because roommate gets off at four. 
Um, so this weekend I did the cooking. I actually made breakfast on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, nothing miraculous. Don't get excited. Uh, I think one day was biscuits and gravy, and then the next day was bacon and eggs. Oh, no, I made a bacon and egg omelet. That's what it was. So, um, I did that, and then I also cooked dinner. I made goulash one night. Things that were easy to throw in. Um, so, uh, I uh, took yesterday, and... I made soft oatmeal cookies. I bought those little angel food cakes with, and I thawed out some frozen fruit. We had ready whip for dessert. I did chicken cordon bleu. I am trying to master the rice maker. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, the first attempt to make rice, it's stuck. And it's a rice maker. It just does it on its own. I don't know why it's stuck. I don't know what I did wrong. Not enough liquid. It said to put in equal parts. One cup liquid to one cup rice. I did that. That didn't work so well. Um, so, uh, I made a second batch just in the nick of time. And it came out okay. It's still stuck just in the center. So, I don't know. I don't know if it was because it was the first use or whatever. It's just a little mini one that I was given. And I was like, hmm, rice maker. Okay. So, yeah. It, it is what it is. So, I made rice and then I made biscuits and chicken cordon bleu. And then we had dessert. And the rice flavor was good. And all you do is instead of cooking rice in water, I cook it in chicken broth. And I put a little picante sauce in there. Like, it. it was one cup of rice, one cup of liquid, and then two tablespoons of picante sauce. So it was, you know, pretty simple. It tasted and had great flavor. So it tasted good. So I did that yesterday. Redid my nails. If you were noticing, they were looking pretty bad. Um, let's see what else. I think that was about it. Getting the car, getting the oil changed in my car was a big thing because I was like, I'm on the bond. <coughs> but now I'm not off during the week and the oil change place that I use is closed on Saturdays. So, yeah, I have to get up. Um, I've managed to get it done uh, one time. If I get up there right at 8 o'clock, I can get it done so, yeah. before I go to work. All right, you guys, I think that's about it. I did a little sewing, a little this, and I will put up a sewing video here in a couple of days. Um, but yeah, don't forget to hop over to the giveaway video and get your entry in by the end of the month. So I will talk at y'all later. Have a great day. God bless. Good karma. Good mojo. Thanks for watching.